trailer here. And, um, well, 2017 came and went, and we're already done with, uh, pretty much done with the first month of January. So, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, but I finally got the time to do it. But, I'm looking back on 2017, and, man, oh man, what a crazy year for me, me and, uh, going to independent uh, wrestling events like I've been to a lot just not Alpha One and Smash events but I also got a chance to check out some other companies that I never got to watch before which included uh, Pro Wrestling Eclipse with uh, Cage Heat I got to see I saw multiple Super Kick shows which if you haven't definitely go check them out I got to see a bit of Greektown wrestling, and also I got to see a Lucha T.O. show at the end of August. For 2018, I hope I get to expand on what I saw in 2017. Hope to go see another uh, Pro Wrestling Eclipse show. Hope to go back to see some Super Kicked. See more Greektown. See more Lucha T.O. And also, I hope to go see some, uh, go see a Destiny show and a PWA event. Those are two I def are definitely on my radar, and I hope to go see them come 2018. But, other than just going seeing a lot of shows, I got to meet a lot of cool wrestlers, which include... I got to see Allie multiple times. I got to see Rosemary, Gail Kim, Grado, Cody Rhodes on multiple occasions. Got to see um, Joey Ryan, and I got to see uh, Sammy Callahan, and on and on. And I became a huge fan of the uh, fraternity. Those guys are amazing. They always put on a great show. And Chad... Channing Decker can hang in with the best because if you watched his match against Josh Alexander, man, that was an amazing match. And that was after the fact he already competed in a tag match with Bessies in the world. But there was so much more going on. But I also went to you guys online back in December to ask you who was your favorite. So... Here are the awards for who you guys voted for for being your favorite uh, independent wrestling stars. For best for best slash favorite wrestling male, that was a very close race. It came down to two guys. It came down to the wrestling machine, Tyson Dukes, and the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. And Tyson Dukes, you're the winner. Of the uh, fan favorite uh, male wrestler. Same thing was happening with the uh, female wrestlers. Had a lot of close competition. Uh, two came. Uh, it was a close two person race. In the end. Casey, so, yeah, Casey Spinelli. Two scoops. You're the fan favorite. Female wrestler of Ontario. Oh, then I went to the organizations because, as you know, there are many, many, many organizations in Ontario. I just scratched the surface of going to some of them. I hope to go to a lot more, like I said. And uh, the winner of that is Smash Wrestling. Alpha One put up a good showing. And also with Death Proof and a surprise was uh, C4 based in Ottawa. And that, I should have said earlier, is another organization I really hope to go check out sooner than later. This was a fun one. The next one was Biggest A-Hole Going. And um, to my surprise, there was one guy out there that actually wanted this award. 
So, who am I to argue? Chad, aka Warhead, you're the biggest a hole going. Uh, then, for the holy shit, what the hell just happened moment, that was interesting. But by a landslide, people, the winner of that is Bill Chase, cease and desist on Death Proof. That one by a long shot, most people suggested that was the holy shit, what the f moment of 2017. We also did, I also did the uh, tag team. With no surprise, TDT. One fan favorite tag team of 2017. And finally, I went to match of the year. And whew, people, what more can I say? You spoke. And it's pretty much Josh Alexander versus whoever. That's the winner. And you can go through the laundry list of Josh Alexander matches. You have Josh Alexander versus Kobe Durst at C4. You got Josh Alexander versus Tyson Dukes on multiple occasions. You got Josh Alexander versus Ethan Page on multiple occasions. You got Josh Alexander versus uh, Ricky Shane Page. You got Josh Alexander versus Channing Decker. Just name one of them. But congratulations to Josh. It's proof you can put a match on with almost anyone. And it's a quality match. So with 2017 now gone, I look back on it. I really liked what was going on in the Indies. I managed to get more involved. It was my first full year in the Indies. Um, and with the help of Cindy and Brian, we created Tyson Poppy Productions, where we can give you all the information about what's happening in the wrestling industry in Ontario and also now in California. And we were making great strides. We got so many people now looking forward to our content. And we just hope to build upon that with all your guys' supports. Thank you much, so much. And I hope you continue supporting us by just hitting the subscribe button on our uh, pages, hitting like but the like buttons on our videos, and just spread the word. Because... Independent wrestling is here to stay. It's just getting to get bigger and better. And I am so looking forward to seeing what Smash has to offer in 2018, what Alpha One has to offer in 2018, what Super Kicked has to offer in 2018, what Pro Wrestling Eclipse has to offer, what Barry Wrestling has to offer, what C4 has to offer, what um, Greek Town has to offer, what Crossbody has to offer. There's so many. I just can't go through them all. Unless I want to make an hour long video. But just wanted to share my thoughts. 2017, amazing. There were so many great pay-per-view uh, events. And I just hope the industry can build upon that. With now, with uh, Destiny and Smash getting much exposure. Now Impact has come to Canada doing a lot of their production here. So, just keep it up, guys. And also, I forgot to mention, great newcomers. I gotta go with the one that's still around. No Limits Wrestling, newcomer of 2017. And already, they are making huge strides. And But there was a black eye regarding that with... Um, independent wrestling this year in 2017 with multiple organizations either um, starting and then not fulfilling their promise to the fans or just collapsing in general and taking fans money which is solely not cool it was a bit of a down hit especially with a couple that happened so close together in September that was a very black month but We've survived, we pulled through, and we're just going to get bigger and better.
So I hope to see you all at various events this year. You know I'll be there. I'll be making content and spreading the word. So keep it all up. See you all later.